In this video, you'll learn the side effects of lithium and lithium's mechanism of action. Now, pharmacology can be tough to learn about in nursing school, right? Yes. <laughs> so we're going to break it down super simple so that you can finally understand it for your nursing school exams. So do not worry, friend. Please don't worry. You don't need to figure everything out alone anymore for nursing school. We're here to help you every step of the way. And if you need more help with learning pharmacology in nursing school, be sure to download this free pharmacology cheat sheet that we have for you that walks you through how to study pharmacology step by step so you can learn it faster learn it easier no stress or overwhelm the link is down below in the description for you to get that now hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell and let's dive in we're going to talk about lithium now the generic name is lithium and the trade name is lithobid the pharmacologic class is a lithium salt and the therapeutic class is an anti-manic now lithium is indicated as a mood, mood stabilizer and it's used to prevent and treat episodes of mania associated with bipolar disorder. The mechanism of action of lithium is not fully known, but it is widely distributed in the central nervous system and interacting with many different neurotransmitters and receptors. This is thought to alter the effects of dopamine decreasing the excited neurotransmissions that are occurring. By decreasing the number of excited neurotransmissions, it helps to stabilize and regulate mood. During mania, there is usually a dopamine overactivity, so this helps to limit the number of excited neurotransmissions that are happening. It is also thought to increase the production and the release of serotonin, which is also known as the happy neurotransmitter and decrease, along with this, the norepinephrine, which is a stress hormone, from being released. So it is increasing the release of that happy hormone and decreasing the release of that stressed hormone. By doing all those things, the therapeutic effect is decreasing the amount of excited neurotransmissions, which helps with mood stabilization, and lithium prevents the ups and downs that occur with bipolar disorder, which can involve lows such as depression and highs such as frenzied behavior. Now some side effects you're going to want to pay attention to if your patient is taking lithium. It can cause renal toxicity, which can happen and lead to a decrease in renal function. This can cause polyuria, which is an increase in unconcentrated urine output. So they are getting rid of a lot of fluid, but it's not concentrated urine. It's just very unconcentrated. This can lead to further electrolyte imbalances. Hyponatremia can happen due to the changes that lithium causes with the sodium transport channels. It results in a decrease in sodium resorption in the renal tubules. So it's leaving more sodium to be left in the body, which means it's an increase in excretion of sodium. This leaves less sodium inside the cells. It can cause seizures, dizziness, lethargy, slowed motor response, dry mouth, blurry vision can all happen when there's electrolyte imbalances specifically associated with sodium. Respiratory depression and hypotension can occur because there's a decrease in dopamine, which slows the central nervous system down because the receptor sites are blocked. Tachycardia can occur as a response to that low blood pressure that was decreased from the lack of dopamine in the central nervous system. So the heart is trying to increase that blood pressure by pump beating faster. It can cause constipation, GI upset, weight gain because of the decreased dopamine, which causes a decrease in the central nervous system, slowing everything down. It can also cause muscle weakness, tremors, and rigidity especially with high doses of the lithium, as it can cause changes in the neurotransmitters which control movements. Big one of them is going to be dopamine. Lithium interferes with T3 and T4 secretion, so those thyroid hormone secretions. It can cause hypothyroidism, and the mechanism of action of this is not exactly clear. 
some things you're going to want to watch out for in your nursing assessment if your patient is taking lithium. You're going to want to monitor their mood closely, watching for any increased signs of suicidal ideation, since those can be increased any time neurotransmitters in the brain are being messed with. Monitor intake and output closely to help monitor your kidney function. Watch for any acute weight gain, which will help determine if the kidneys are functioning properly. Monitor the blood levels of lithium to maintain therapeutic levels frequently. It's important to avoid lithium toxicity, and it can happen very quickly. The levels should be drawn twice a week while starting therapy, and then every two months once a therapeutic level is stabilized. Watch for signs of lithium toxicity, which could include GI upset, slurred speech, decreased coordination, and muscle weakness or twitching. It can cause drowsiness or dizziness, so the patient is at higher risk for falls, so be sure to monitor them for safety. Some major contraindications to watch out for are going to be if your patient has a history of cardiovascular disease, any decreased renal function because it can easily cause renal toxicity because it's excreted by the kidneys. It should be used cautiously if the patient is dehydrated or has a sodium imbalance to begin with. Because of its effect on the renal tubules, it will further increase those electrolyte imbalances. Lithium has many drug and vitamin interactions, so those interactions should always be monitored. For your patient education with lithium, it's super important that you have your patient take the medication at the same time every day. Do not skip any doses or stop taking the doses. And if a dose is missed, do not take two doses. This medication treats the symptoms, but, to, but it does not cure the condition, so it is a long-term therapy. The patient should continue taking lithium even when they're feeling better. It can cause dizziness and drowsiness initially, so it's important to be cautious with the increased risk of falls and encourage your patient to move slowly. You'll also want to make sure your patient increases their fluid intake to 2,000 to 3,000 mLs per day to help maintain electrolyte balance. Maintaining sodium levels with some dietary adjustments will be necessary to continue with a therapeutic level and maintain their sodium levels. A moderate sodium intake diet while avoiding excessive sweating and avoiding diuretics such as coffee or tea will be very helpful. If GI upset occurs, such as diarrhea, they should notify their healthcare provider. Since sodium levels are very easily effective and cause renal toxicity quickly, close monitoring is required, especially when fluid levels are fluctuating. Lithium levels must be monitored closely, and the patients need to understand the importance of maintaining monitoring throughout therapy. Some nursing considerations to let your patient know of. You're going to want to make sure your patient is able to monitor drug levels closely when they are initiating lithium therapy and throughout the therapy. Watch for any drug interactions, and there could be many, especially with over-the-counter medications and vitamins. The medication levels should be drawn in the morning right before they are taking the medication. Now remember, this is just a treatment for the symptoms. It is not a cure, so therapy will be long-term. Now, if you want a deep dive into all of the other medications that you need to learn about in nursing school, like there's a lot, right? <laughs> you do not want to miss the medication database that we have for you inside the Nursing SOS membership community. If you are frustrated because you have to figure everything out yourself and learn all of these meds in nursing school and don't even know where to start, do not worry. We will teach you everything you need to know step by steps, you can finally learn it faster and easier. Now, the link is down below for you to check out all of the details. Now, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend and click on one of these videos over here so you can keep rocking nursing school. And as always, my friend, go become the nurse that God created only you to be. And I'll catch you next time on the nursing school show. Take care. Bye-bye.